on Game of Thrones fans, my nerdy YouTubers, my nerdy geek viewers, this is Mr. Dark Phoenix here with the Holy Trinity to bring you guys the Comic Stand, my weekly show on Wednesday where I give you guys comic book news, previews and opinions, and wacky theories. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, please hit subscribe. I review Game of Thrones, Gotham, Lucifer, Supergirl, The Flash, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Teen Wolf, Arrow, Legend of Tomorrow, Vixen, The Netflix Family, This Weekly Show, Hot Button Comic Book News and Reactions, and if you want to play video games and scream and curse and all that good stuff, you can follow me on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash MrDarkPhoenix. That and other social media links will be right here in the description bar below. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook for nerdy ramblings and inf up to date information on when I go live on Twitch or when new videos on my YouTube are out and all types of good stuff. But let's jump right on into a Game of Thrones theory Cersei's Bitch Dragon. This video only works in conjunction if, uh, if Euron actually has the dragon horn. But you know what? I don't care. I'll say a theory anyway. It's a good way to start a video. But let's just say in the show, uh, Euron gets the dragon horn. And he uses it on one of the dragons. Um, if you've watched my Season 7 leaked plots video, it'll be in that what happens to someone else. I'm not going to spoil it here. But let's just say that, you know, we all know Danny's going to land in King's Land. Not King's Land, but she won't go. She's going to be somewhere in the Westeros with her three dragons. But let's just say somehow Euron's like, hey, give me that. And she's like, bitch, no. And Euron's all like, doo 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 doo. And Viserion's like, ooh, that's a nice ass time. I'll go with him. And Drogon and Rhygo are like, bitch, what are you doing? And it's like, I made this a whole thing. I made this a whole skit. And Viserion's like, Deuces. And she and Viser she Viser dragons are fucking they can have both genitals. Um and Viserion flies over with Euron and Euron brings a gift to Cersei. He's like, hey oh Cersei, here. I got you a dragon of your own, gold, just like a Lannister would. And it's so great because first of all, if they're trying to keep Lana Heedy on the show, they're trying to keep her on the show for as long as possible. Like I don't think she'll make it to season 8. I think she'll make it for season 7. But I think by the time season season 8 rolls around, she's gotta go. Like, she's gotta die. Jamie's gotta kill her. Because that's the Valenquar theory. That's what's gotta happen. But if they would let Cersei do one thing before she dies, and that's like ride a dragon and wreak some havoc, I would love that so hard. First off... She's already she's she's already caused enough Targaryen commotion by blowing up the Vatican. So might as well give her ass a dragon for a little bit and then she realize and then it realizes that it's not the one that it's that she's supposed to be on. Viserion's like, bitch, can you get all of me? And she's like, Settle down, you're my dragon. And Viserion's like, Terminator Chronicles, and Cersei falls off the dragon and dies to her death. She can't go back in time and save herself now. But what do you guys think about this theory? Would you like to see Cersei, a.k.a. Lana Heedy, ride a dragon before she goes, before the War of the Dawn? Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget I love you guys so much for all that you do for me, whether it's the likes and subscriptions and the comments and all that stuff. I love interacting with you guys. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe to your awesome nerdy friends, and always remember that through good times and bad times, remember geek out and enjoy your lives. I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.